here's Bon Air as we come in. It's about 7.30 on Valentine's Day. Here's a nice row of sailboats. Pretty much all lined up. Even distance from each other. coming in to appear that means we don't have to come in on the tenders as soon as we get off the ship there is a market here you can buy good Caribbean salt <laughs> and then we have the usual jewelry and knick-knack stuff and here are all the tour vendors this is the first island that we've seen that does this. We've seen it other places, but this is quite nice. You get off the ship and talk to the people and what they have to offer, but we have prearranged plans to go on a tour. We've seen several boatloads of people leaving the ship. So we'll see a lot of coral limestones uh, on the beaches, but also on land. So we have jewelry street. stores, we have bookshops, we have optricians, we have pharmacies. Um, Zeros. 16,000. So uh, in comparison with Aruba, um, we are um, a little bit uh, not overpopulated yet. Nice water villas. And those go around uh, $250,000 and up. And they have a private pier. So, you see the houses here on my right hand side? They're almost uh, in the sea. At least the backyard is almost in the sea. And you were thinking, what about hurricanes? Actually, we are outside the hurricane belt. So, uh, we are very fortunate that uh, we don't have a lot of uh, hurricanes. So all yellow stones that you will see on our tour, and Yellowstone, it means a diving spot. It's not the name of the area, it's just the name of the diving spot. So what happens is when these uh, salt crystallizers are ready to, uh, to uh, have the salt ready, they will put a big flag on top of that obelisk and so it will sign the captains coming in where they have to be to collect the salt. This is a so slave this is the slave keeper's house. house and usually it was a, a, a Dutch commander. And he... This is where the slaves live. So the Dutch built these slave quarters in about 1850. Thirteen years later they abolished the slave trade. But this it's supposed to be an example of how well they treated the slaves and gave them such nice quarters. Thank You're working at least 12, 14 hours a day. Yes, and it's a long uh, hard work. It's hard work. Yeah. Five or six people would be in one of these huts. You can see how small they are. These did have thatched roofs at one time, but too much hassle today. This is all coral that's washed ashore over the millennium. And look at the beautiful water. And then the waves come in and start rubbing them amongst each other. They rub each other and they start getting polished. So, the longer they are here on the shore, the more polish they will get. And this is brain coral. Pretty obviously how it got that name. The There's some divers. The water starts uh, being redirected and refloated by this company. 
in order for the crust of the salt to start forming. And the water will come in uh, deep blue, but by the end it gets here, it's uh, pink, because only uh, a few life can survive in this uh, salty water, in this extra salty water, let me put it that way, because there's a big crust of salt underneath this water. And uh, there's a lot of pink algae, brine shrimp in here. Uh, and those are coloring this uh, this water pink. And I'm making these salt piles. You see that? So uh, there's a, uh, a uh, bulldozer scraping. Or actually there are two. One is filling the truck and one is uh, scraping. Yes. Harry yes. Belafonte bought all so, the uh, land out here in the 70s. For Bellum is for Belafonte, the first three letters of Belafonte, the last name, and Nemi. So Bell Nem. This airport there's, uh, is known is named Flamingo Airport. And we've done our southern loop and we're back in Crowland Dyke. And then we will do our northern loop. That's very typical of Bonaire. Also, the color yellow is typical. It's the favorite color. And uh, so when you see a house like this, this is a very typical Bonaire house. Cut the cactus, put it in the ground, it will shoot roots. And then before you know it, you have like three, three layers of cactus fans. That makes it almost impossible for anything to penetrate to that. No goats can come into your garden. And the marine park is actually all around uh, Bonaire, in Klein Bonaire, and 30 miles out. Uh, what you can see here on the right hand side is coral of limestone actually with corals embedded. And million years ago these islands um, were submerged by a volcanic eruption. That does not mean that we have volcanoes on this island, but it was said that we, uh, we were, um, uh, the islands were raised up out of sea because of this uh, big explosion. And um, so this is uh, what used to be actually the shore of this island. And you can see the waves hitting it when it was down below here. Nowadays the same thing is happening on our left hand side. So uh, maybe in a, in a thousand years more, it will be much higher. This is a Goto Lake. This is the rainy season, so the water is brown with silt that's come down from the mountains. This is Rincon hidden down here in the middle where the pirates hopefully couldn't find them. And uh, a little plazita, a little market that they organize every Saturday. So fishermen will sell their uh, fresh fish catch of the day, farmers will bring their crops, um, and some people selling clothing and things like that. Yes. So here in Rincon, uh, 4,000 people, everybody knows everybody. Finally found some wild donkeys. Can you just this? Yeah. Piece of bread or cracker? No? All right. I'm sorry, big guy. We didn't bring anything for you today. Maybe goat crossing. Man. Now, Stu, you have everything that you wanted. You saw the donkeys. Now you have the goats. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty percent of the electricity on this island comes from windmills. Waves are splashing in against these coral stones. You see the splash coming over, and that's the east side of the east coast of the island, and that's the uh, uh, most rough part of the sea. So you're not allowed to swim, snorkel, or dive here. It's only one day a week is he open, it's, that's on Sunday, and he makes a uh, local menu, 
with a lot of food. And you see the bay on your left hand side? That's where the uh, aliens came a long, long, long time ago. They were the first. Bonaire means low land in the Indian's native language. So the Catholic Church put this monument here in the year 2000. It is the main religion on the island. And Ayera is yesterday, Awe is today, and Semper in Latin is always. Here's a two-way road back to Kralendike. Oh, and up ahead we have some more goats. Yeah. We're having this uh, tour with Bonaire Vista tours. And um, if you found that you had a nice tour, my wife and I like to ask you to write us a little bit with you for us at Triple Plaza. Probably you'll find us that way. <laughs>